big injuries in the NFL this week, headlined by Matt Schaub of the Houston Texans, out for this season. First reactions. Well, Matt Schaub in the past has been a big play guy. Texans used to throw the ball a lot more than they do now, although they still had, you know, thousand yard rushers, Steve Slayton, uh, before this. Arian Foster, Ben Tate, Derek Ward, that's the show right now. And lately, Schaub has been more of a game manager. Now, you think, okay, who's behind him? Matt Leinert? Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, we, we, we knew he was there, but we don't think about that. And, and Matt Leinert, this is Matt Leinert's last chance to be anything as an NFL quarterback. Yeah. Um, supposedly, he's changed a little bit of his attitude. He was probably sitting in the hot tub with two girls when he found out he was going to be the starting quarterback. <laughs> but we'll see if he can bounce back and, um, you know, try to resurrect uh, like he's ever been any good, but he had a couple good games with the Cardinals, uh, you know, his rookie year. Mm. But this is a chance to, and they're not going to ask him to do too much. Their schedule sets up well for teams that have a hard time against the run. You got Arian Foster, who may be the best player in football right now. Well, Aaron Rodgers may be the best running back in football right now. Okay. And, you know, I, I think they'll be fine, but in the regular season and to get a first round bye, but is Matt Leiner going to win a playoff game for you? That's the question. We should probably also uh, tell our audience, too, that Matt Schaub's out with a foot injury. He's actually scheduled to have foot surgery this week, so that's what's keeping him out for the entire season. Um, you just hit up the nail on the head there. Can Matt Leiner win when it counts? Because with the running game they have with Ben Tate and Arian Foster, that's going to take care of their division, no problem. It even could get them a first-round bye. They've got basically an easy schedule coming up for them. It, it should be no problem with the regular season. When they start facing the best defenses in the AFC, is running the football 40 times a game going to be enough for them to surpass the cream of the crop? My answer to that is no, because I don't think Matt Leiner is good enough in the NFL to win these games. He was good in college. He was the type of quarterback that can benefit from having a lot of talent around him. And getting Andre Johnson back after Thanksgiving will be really key for their season. But... I don't think that's enough. You know, Leiner had a pretty good running game in college, too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. A couple guys, what were their names? Uh, Reggie Bush and Lundell White, I believe. Yeah, it looks a lot like this Tate Foster that he's got going on right now. Now, Ar- Arian Foster could do so many things, too. I think the last two weeks he's caught a three-yard pass and taken it 80-something yards for a touchdown. So mm-hmm. he, he covers a lot of flaws. They can't rely on the running game much more than they already are, and they have to now, which I think worries most people. But... Um... I think that this is uh, this is really tough for the Texans. I, I just have to hope for them because I was excited about them this year. I just have to hope for them that it, that it doesn't spell the end of their season. But I don't know with Matt Leiner that they're going to beat the Steelers and the Ravens and the Patriots who are now re-entering mm-hmm. the conversation once we get down to it. So this is really a devastating injury for that team. But they are less reliant on Matt Schaub this year than any other year that they've had Schaub. That's a positive for them. I think it's also no, it's a bigger test for the defense. They're number one in the NFL in total defense. Wade Phillips without has Mario done Williams. it. Without Mario Williams. Wade Phillips has done an ultimate transformation job on mm-hmm. this Houston defense. Mm-hmm. And now with Schaub gone, it's going to be more of a spotlight, yes, on the two running backs for the running attack, but their defense as well because now they can't get in the shootouts with anybody anymore because now they don't have the air attack that Matt Schaub was able to provide mm-hmm. them in the past. The help that he's going to get back is a big thing. Andre Johnson will stretch the field. He'll be back after the bye week. Leinert has the bye week, an extra two weeks to prepare himself to play. Plus, when you have a game manager, you want him to check down more often than not. you got a pretty good tight end in Owen Daniels, and you got running backs who can catch the ball. Mm-hmm. I think it's a good situation for Matt Leinert. As good of any situation, if you're Matt Leinert, to go into is the one you're going into now. Yeah, he's got some pieces to rely on. Now the question is, will he check down? <laughs> that's always the tough mm-hmm. thing with these new guys. They get in there, they get in the huddle, they've got to mm-hmm. play. And once we get down to it, they don't check down. They just look at their first option, which is mm-hmm. often going to be Andre Johnson after yeah. that. But Arian Foster is going to be there five yards from scrimmage. Mm-hmm. Owen Daniels is going to be there five years from scrimmage. If he sees those options and they get themselves open as they're good at doing, he could be successful. And remember, Leinart was a big prospect coming out of school, came out of a pro-style offense Heisman. at USC, Heisman Trophy. There's some raw talent there that people were seeing, so maybe this is the right situation for him. But there's, we'll al- see. there's also a reason Pete Carroll passed on him twice yeah. as an NFL coach. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah. a free agency to bring him in. You know, who knows him better than Pete Carroll? 
It's all up in the air for Houston. 